Good day everyone. Ripper morning out on the river again. A little bit of wind around, but we'll give it a go. And uh, I'd like to introduce you to my new boat. There it is. I've upgraded the old red tarpon into a slightly newer orange tarpon. <laughs> I love these boats. Great paddle boats. Um, yeah, so the maiden voyage of the new tarpon. Let's get it in the water and get going. <laughs> Gee, I love it. I love these boats, I really do. It's been about five years since I bought a kayak, and the last kayak I bought was the Red Tarpon 120. But, uh, gee, I love these boats, as I keep saying. But anyway, let's get it on the water. Um, this is the maiden voyage, so hopefully there's no nasty surprises, no leaks or anything like that. Let's get going. Here we go. Fall in, Andy. All right, those foot pegs are too short. Let's give them a plus one. to you. Nice three. There we go. Oh, like a dream. Like a dream. Make sure I'm out of casting distance of these guys on the jetty. Let's go for it. one on this one okay so I can see some seagulls just off in the distance there so let's do what we do get a troll get a trolling lure in the water let's go see if we can find a fish Gulls everywhere, and I have seen the odd fish hit the surface. So it should happen. It should happen. I've also bought a about a 40 gram metal on the other on the other rod. So if I really get in the thick of it, I can just cast the metal. Come on. It's gotta be fish here. Yep, there we go. Alright, here we go. Number two for the orange ruffy. Got to get it to the boat first though, of course. There it is. It's a 
it a touch smaller this one? Might be a touch smaller. Yeah, we'll let this one go. He's undersized. Come here, buddy. There we go, off you go mate. There we go, it's good as gold. Cool, let's keep going. There we go. Gee, it's not taking long this morning. swimming at me. Still attached. <laughs> Gee, I love this one River Taylor. It has such great fun fish. Such great fish. I think this one might be just undersized as well. We're measuring. I think he's going to go undersized. Let's get these hooks out. Twenty-nine, I reckon. Uh, what do we got here? Yeah, twenty-nine and a half. See, you, mate. Let's keep paddling. Let's fish around. All right, we're on again. Weather hot this morning. All about just under or just over legal size so far. So all in that sort of 30 centimetre class of fish. So hopefully I'll pick up a couple of keepers, but gee, it's fun. This one might be just under again. He's undersized. Put this guy back. Mm. Off you go, mate. Mm. Thanks for playing. Mm. Straight away. Just turn the bay line over. Gee, they're on this morning. Gee, they're on this morning. Just be another undersized fish though, unfortunately. Great first run for the new kayak though. <laughs> a 
you go, mate. Boy, it's happening this morning. Alright, let's see how long it actually takes. I haven't turned that bay arm over yet, I'm just feeding that line. Just following the same line as I was just on. Alright, bail arm's over, we're fishing, we're trolling. Let's see how long it takes. Well, they call that a speed run. <laughs> you watch a wind hook up now. Don't look like a drongo. Probably paddling away from the fish. Oh no, there we go. Was that a hit? Didn't hook up. Let's turn around. There it is. I had to hook up eventually. <laughs> had to find one eventually. So I might put a timer on that. Speed the footage up, but put a timer on that, see just how long it took. Come on mate, where are you? There he is. <laughs> awesome. He's undersized, we'll put him back. How are you? Up he goes. Boy, this is good fun. Alright, here's another one. Another undersized one, I think. Gee, I'm glad I got that first one that was size. Looks like they're all undersized. Come on, mate, let's have a look at you. 
Nice hooks out. Send you on your way. There we go. Off you go. Cheers, mate. Good luck to you. We're on again. Uh, well, these are all undersized fish here so what I'm going to do after this one is I'm going to paddle out a bit wider uh, risk not catching as many fish and try and find a bigger class of fish because uh, I mean it's great fun catching undersized fish and all and sit here and have a great time but I mean you are catching them for no point really you're not intending to eat them you can't take them so yeah I think I'll just leave these ones alone I'll go and find some deeper water Watch this one be a keeper now. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to measure him. <laughs> what, what was I just saying? Might be a keeper. Might be close. I'll put a tape on him. Hoodie one centimeters. He's a keeper, but I'm still going to move outside. And uh, how's this for comparison? He just spat up a white bait, so I'm fishing with the double clutch, and that's what they're eating. <laughs> How close is that? <laughs> Imagine the hatch or what? Anyway, let's paddle out a bit wider, see what we can find. Yeah, so, I've got to say, I'm, I'm over the moon with the new kayak. There's no reason I shouldn't be, it's the exact same model as uh, the last tarpon I had. Maybe a bit newer, I don't actually know the age of it, I didn't bother asking, but it's in good condition, so. Uh, so I've been on the water for maybe half an hour, the inside of the hole's bone dry, so no leaks, that's good. It tracks like a tarpon, it does what a tarpon's meant to do. Um, any of your good quality kayaks, uh, tarpon 120s, your ocean prowlers, um, or tarpon 120s, 140s, 100s, ocean prowlers, uh, Vikings, they're good. Quest, Hobie Quests, they're great, I used to have one of them. Um, but they're all relatively long and relatively narrow, so you're not trying to paddle a barge. A lot of the fishing kayaks, the so-called fishing kayaks on the market at the moment are, um, in my opinion, they focus too much on stability and not enough on speed and tracking. So, I mean, they're great for beginners. Uh, great safety aspect, a lot of stability, but not great for trolling. And I, I reckon that's why a lot of people get bored with kayak fishing because they, they find them so hard to paddle, simply. But if you can get up to a reasonable speed like this, and this is ideal trolling speed really, I'm not exerting myself. Yeah, if you can, if you can get up to this speed, get a few fish, it keeps you interested in the sport and you love it, like I do. Anyway, that's enough of me, me trying to be a bloody expert on all things kayak. <laughs> Let's keep going. Thank you. 
Well, no fish <laughs> yet. I think I've made the uh, the cardinal sin of leaving fish to find fish, but that's okay. There are only small fish in that school, so and it really is about the maiden voyage of the new boat. I really want to see how it goes. Although, as I said, <laughs> I had a pretty good idea of how it was going to go. They're great boats. But anyway, I'm just going to cruise up from this channel marker to the next channel marker and pretty much head back to the ute. So that'll be, that'll be a good maiden voyage for the orange ruffy. Also, I left my drink bottle in the car and I'm thirsty. <laughs> Dopey bugger. Anyway, let's go. Righto, channel marker achieved. Let's head back. I'm uh, that way. Park just near Applecross. Park just near Applecross Jetty, so it's pretty much a straight shot. Straight there. Magic morning on the water. How's this? There was meant to be um, southeasterlies blowing. There's a little bit of a breeze, but <laughs> yeah. Nothing to upset what I'm doing. Huh? Love it. Couple of fish in the bucket. Good session on the on the tail, although <laughs> I forget how many I caught, but probably 90% of them were undersized, but I've got a couple of fish there, so that's good. And uh, great first morning on the new yak. Anyway. I've said that a hundred times in the video, so let's go, let's get back to the ute. There it is. That's the maiden voyage of the Orange Ruffy, my new Wilderness Systems Tarpon 120 kayak. Great morning. Quick, quick little session. Very brief session, but red hot session on the tailor. And then pretty reasonable paddle. Got out into mid water between here and uh, the other side of the river there, the city. So yeah, pretty reasonable start for the. For the new kayak. Uh, hopefully get plenty of fish on this. I'm, um, so I am looking at sort of changing my fleet a little bit. My fleet. <laughs> um, I'm going to move on the old red tarpon of course. I've got an old um, fin kayak as well. I'm going to move that on and I'm probably even going to move the Hobie on because I want to downsize the Hobie to a Rev R11. So if you if you got a Rev R11 you're selling, let me know. But anyway, yeah, that's uh, the brand new Tarpon 120. Gee, I love these boats for paddling. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video all. Tight lines. See you next time.